hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss semantics and i'll discuss the lexical relations in detail all right without wasting time let's get started what are lexical relations in semantics semantics you know branch of linguistics that deals with the meaning of words so lexical relations this is also concerned pertaining to meaning of word so you would know that words can be treated as containers of meaning and they have relationship with each other and there are different kinds of relationship based on some analogies and other relationship among the words and we'll discuss all of them in detail the first relationship lexical relation is synonymy all right it is also in simple words you can say it is synonyms all right two or more words in a very closely related meaning are synonyms and they can often though not always be substituted for each other in sentences depend on the context all right and now we'll see some of the example of synonyms okay some pronounce it as synonyms and some pronounce it synonyms okay all right some examples are almost nearly big large broad white by purchase cab taxi car automobile couch sofa freedom liberty all right so they have the relationship of synonyms and now we'll see antonymy okay so this is uh, you can also call it at antonyms antonyms and two forms with opposite meanings and they are usually divided into two main types credible and non credible so credible uh, antonyms they can also used in comparative constructions tall for example tall taller tallest so these are degrees of comparison you know so they are used in comparative construction credible antonyms and on the other hand non credible antonyms they are also known as complementary pairs or you can also call them as uh, direct opposites opposites all right so comparative constructions are not normally used in non credible antonyms and we don't typically describe someone as more deader or <laughs> or more dead than another all right and uh, so non credible antonyms in earlier lists so for example the examples of non credible antonyms are male female married single true false here you can see they are direct opposites of each other and some other examples include alive dead big small fast slow happy sad hot cold long shot and many more and some of the antonyms mean do the reverse of each other and they are known as reversives they do the reverse of each other the actions are actually the reverse of one another examples are inter exit pack unpack lengthen shorten here you can see the relation they do the reverse of each other the reverse of inter is exit all right raise lava tie untie and another relationship is hyponymy hyponymy is the lexical relation when the meaning of one form is included in meaning of another and this relationship is described as uh, hyponymy and this concept of inclusion inclusion means you include meaning of one word into another involved in this relationship for example if an object is a rose then obviously it's a flower you know rose is a class of flowers okay it's a kind of flower and uh, so the meaning of flower is included in meaning of rose or you can say rose is a hyponymy hyponym of flower so this relationship is given about living things creatures and plants and in creature in animals animals and insects so there are further classes all right in animals many classes or many types of animals are included dog horse snake all right they are hyponyms of the class of kingdom animals 
and in planty plants you also see some are vegetables some are flowers some are trees all right so this relationship is described for example we can say that horse is a hyponym of animal here in this diagram you can see the animal include many kinds of animals horse dog snake and you call each of the below category uh, a hyponym of the above larger category all right the larger category is animal and the smaller categories or kinds are dog horse snake or any animal all right horses hyponym of animal and animals and insects are called and the above uh, lower upper class all right the larger class here is animal all right and that is called superordinate all right and when two species come under the same class for example under the animals we have dog horse snake and this dog horse they are called as cohyponyms because they come under the same one larger category that is animal all right that is superordinate that is animal and now we'll see prototype what prototype is while the words okay in birds we can see the kinds of birds canary dove duck flamingo parrot pelican robin okay these are uh co hyponyms of the superordinate or the larger class that is bird they come under the category of birds okay and uh, but they are not all considered equally good examples of the category of bird why based on some relationship or characteristics and according to researchers and the most characteristic instant of a category bird is robin okay that share the most uh, resemblance with bird so this idea of characteristic instance of a category is known as prototype you can also call it in simple terms that are the most resemblance to the clearest example is prototype here example we can see that uh, the bird the robin is most resemblance to bird all right and now we'll see homophones and harmoniums homophones you know words with same pronunciation and they are described as homophones okay same pronunciation same sounds but different meaning examples are bear bear meat meat pal pal right right all right and then homonyms they are the words which have one form but having two or more unrelated meaning okay same pronunciation same spelling but different meaning all right the word bank so it refers to two meaning of the bank of a river or bank which is a financial institution or bed flying creature and bed used in sports all right some more examples are mole mole pupil raise and now we'll see polysemy okay in linguistics this is our lexical relation which has same form but related meanings okay poly mean many so it has one same form but many related meanings polysemy can also be defined as the one form having multiple meanings that are related by extension for example the word head so it has one form and many related meanings so head refers to object on top of the body and it also refers to top of the class of pair or person at the top of a company or department in a similar way food food also refers it's a one form and many related categories or many related meanings are foot of a person foot of a bed or foot of a mountain as the word has multiple meanings it has polysemy you know polymy many and then there will be a single entry in dictionary and if the words are treated as homonyms they will typically have two separate entities with different meanings in dictionary and now we'll see wordplay so this is a lexical relation 
uh, usually it's used for humorous or comic effect we make sense of the riddle why tree is often mistaken for dogs okay there is no relation between trees and dogs but the word play is there here you can see the bark okay the dog bark and bark of the tree which is stem of tree you know so on the basis of this bark word play is there because we see resemblance between because of the word bark and another in the following question why is six afraid of seven because uh, answer is funny because you can say because seven eight nine so here eight means the eating so seven eight nine that's why six afraid of seven by identifying the homophones another relationship is metonymy and there is another type of relationship between words based simply on cross connection in everyday experience so this metonymy is based on everyday experience and this relationship or this connection can be uh, can be described on basis of some analogies for example container content relationship here you can see the bottle is the container and it contains water so this relationship is container content for relationship and other or relationship include hall part relationship the car is the hall and the wheels are parts of car or represent representative symbol relationship for example the crown represents the king and collocations in english we can say collocations are the words that frequently occurring together for example salt and pepper true feelings and many more so they, they often come together so this is all about semantics and references george yul study of language notes are in the description thank you for watching